In this video, I'm going to show you how to create uh, an instance of Jekyll. Uh, we'll be using Jekyll as a, uh, an example platform for creating static HTML websites. Uh, and it's, it's different. It's, Jekyll is different than your, uh, uh, your traditional website in the sense that you're not necessarily um, coding HTML directly and C CSS directly, but rather we'll be using markup languages um, to, uh, to create content. And um, you'll find it's a lot easier than, than using HTML um, because uh, a lot of the uh, uh, a lot of the parts of the um, of the platform will generate um, the code that we need. Um, so anyway, so we'll be using this, and I'm going to just really quickly just create uh, this Jekyll instance, create the um, the sample application, and then in your assignments, um, you're going to be doing modifications of the uh, of the Jekyll site to create a personalized website um, for you for the semester. Um, where you'll be adding content uh, as a portfolio of sorts for the um, for the course. So I'm going to start first by deleting everything um, from um, the uh, the workspace. And this is you know after you create your instance, this is all there um, basically by default. And so I'm just going to go ahead and remove all of it because I don't need it to be there. And what we're going to do is we're going to install um, Jekyll. And so if you're on, uh, if you created your workspace as a Ruby workspace, then it's going to be as simple as typing gem install and then Jekyll. And run that and, take, and I'll take a moment here. And after, uh, um, the uh, software gets installed. We're going to create our new portfolio site. So I'm going to type Jekyll new portfolio. So what's happening here? This is a uh, a Ruby application. Um, Jekyll is a Ruby application, and so it's this is uh, creating our website for us. Uh, actually, this is creating. Um, uh, yeah, our, our website for us. So let's see. So I created my new portfolio. And I'm going to change directory into the portfolio directory. And then I'm going to run the application. So Jekyll serve host IP. And what is this? What this is doing on Cloud9, uh, these, uh, the host IP and the port port number um, are making sure that uh, we'll make sure that our application runs uh, properly within the Cloud9 environment. If you're running this on just a regular Linux box, you wouldn't need to include these necessarily. So I'll do a base URL and run. Okay, so now my application is running and I can click on this link here. And then I'll bring up my application. The other thing that I can do if I was going to run this, is I could go to share and click on application, open, and that'll bring up the same thing. Okay, so this is my Jekyll website. And this was all automatically generated by the application. Um, and it's, it's pre-formatted, so you pick a theme and then um, the formatting will um, be set according to that theme. And then it has links just like you would have um, obviously on a, on a web page. But one of the things that's interesting here is that uh, this page was not generated, was not, while it is HTML now, the, the source code for creating this page is actually mostly text. Uh, and there's a markup language that's related to this. So if you look here, at the <clears throat> welcome to Jekyll page. Um, so there's, uh, there's a little bit of header information that you need to include. This is the actual post. There's uh, support for things like code snippets, and we'll see this as you, 
um, create uh, your pages during the semester. Um, and then various other things where you can do replacements of each of, uh, of URLs with uh, variables and so forth. So, um, so anyway, this is, um, this is a, a language that you'll be using um, throughout the semester um, for creating a portfolio for, uh, for your work. Um, what I would like you to do is follow these instructions or do basically what I've done here. Create your own um, Jekyll site. You're going to want to change some things, and so that's going to be, as, uh, be part of the assignment sheet that you'll um, you'll be given. Um, so that you are personalizing the website uh, so that we know that it's you. So there's uh, a number of other things that will be part of what you need to change, um, but um, you can follow the assignment sheet in doing that. So anyway, that concludes this video.